Hello there guys, it's me in Stable Voltage and welcome back to episode 36 of Stellaris as the Chenor Stellar Union. In the last video we went to war with um, the combined Rixie planets and that's the first time in a game of Stellaris that I've actually gone to war with a civilization that is of equal sort of level with me. They were equal in tech and equal in military strength and their military size. And uh, it actually wasn't that difficult to fight. It was easier than I expected. So we made them see a load of their star systems, gave them to my sectors, and they've got a few little places left that I will probably take later on. We'll probably try and... Um, I doubt we'll vassalize them. We'll probably just get them to seed the rest of the stuff. That's now making me think that maybe I want to actually go and have a crack at the Union of Hullfast Core up here. I really don't know how strong they are, but one thing we definitely need to do is we need to go and do some um, rebuilding because we did lose a few ships in the previous battle. Uh, we also need to make sure that we get our army back home. So you guys need to go and return to orbit. Uh, all of our ships should be going back home, and indeed they all are. We've also got this alliance offer from the United Zepadrogan States. Oh no, it's, a, it's not us. It's, we haven't been invited to it. It's telling us that somebody else has misread that notification. That is fine. Good, because I didn't really want to be in an alliance at this point anyway. I actually feel quite strong myself. So let's go back to our home world and just make sure we are starting to build a few ships. I think I'd like to try and get all of my navy together first. Because I would kind of like to try and find out what is... Um, you know, the sort of total number of ships that we have. I don't really know uh, what we have at the moment. You guys are heading back home. That's fine. Let's go up to fast speed. We are going to have some repairs to get done. Uh, I will rename a, a ship or two as well. So we've got a couple of little things that we need to get done this episode. A little bit of housekeeping. Um, so we've actually got a second construction ship which hasn't been named so let's go and consider doing that. So this construction ship is going to be named the um, Bellowen. For one of my subscribers or one of my uh, patron supporters. And we'll go ahead and just rename the, um, the fleet as well. And uh, what I probably should have done is actually had the um, designation before that. And uh, how are we doing on our scientists and leaders? I want to have a look at my leaders screen. So we've got some scientists and some governors. We've got the general. Um, we've got a few that are commanding here. Quite like you. You've got cheaper ship, uh, ship upkeep. You are going to get renamed though. And you are going to be Christopher Lowe, which is another one of the patron supporters. So there we go. So we a little bit of a strange name for a Chinor, maybe, but so is Foundation Afro the Fifth, most likely. But there we go. We've got a few more people added in there now. So what we want to do, get the fleets together, um, see what we've got, and then get them all rebuilding. Now, we've got a free science ship at the moment that doesn't appear to be getting a lot done. Ah, I remember why. We were sending them down here to get research done on... Uh, the debris. So let's go ahead and work on both of those. Uh, what, what's tabbing doing? I don't want to hit tab. I want to hit M and get out of there. That's fine. Uh, we'll unpause the game. Transport fleet, you guys need to um, land. Uh, where are you? Oh, a building has been ruined by the Rixian homelanders at Paltop. Unfortunate, I think. Right, first things first, because I feel like I've got a million things to do right now. Uh, the army, you guys need to um, land. No point in you being there. We get all the navy together. Construction ship isn't doing an awful lot at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at the factions. If I can remember where it is. It's not in that one. Factions. Yeah, the Rixian homelanders have got quite a lot of uh, a lot of people. We can manage the faction there. So how can we? Uh, how, what can we do about it? And what have we got here? Gunpowder has been discovered by primitive alien civilization on Belores. Okay, that's fine. 
So we can return their planets, which of course we really don't want to do. We can reduce the frustrations of the nationalists by helping them integrate into their new society, which will cost us some influence points. Well, we have a ton of it. We can suppress the media, reduce a faction's popular support by reducing the footprint in the public consciousness, which costs us a lot of energy credits and a little bit of influence. Or we can bribe the leaders, which would cost... Well, let's go and um, do an integration campaign. Apparently, we can do a few of those. Let's uh, let's also suppress the media as well. We'll keep an eye on it. Obviously, we don't want it to build up too highly. Now, we're actually getting quite a good income in terms of energy credits. That's probably because, first of all, we took um, quite a lot of extra territory, which is giving us some nice stuff. And secondly, we've also uh, got a smaller fleet now. So let's just get all of the fleet um, together. We'll merge them all up to start with. Uh, repairs have been completed. So with the entire fleet together, we do need to repair. We'll probably need to do an upgrade as well at some point. It shouldn't take them too long to uh, get up, uh, repaired. Oh, now what about the upgrades? It shouldn't take too long either. Let's go ahead and do that upgrade actually. Yeah, that's going pretty quick. So we've got 10 battleships, we've got 5 cruisers, well, we've got 10 cruisers all together, and we've got 18 destroyers. So I think we could do with uh, another couple of destroyers, so we should probably go and queue them up first of all so that I don't um, forget them. So let's go and get ourselves two, um, two more destroyers. Ships upgraded. Now, one thing that I can't see at the moment is I, I don't know what the ships are like that these guys up here have. The Union of Hulfast Kanor. So I can't actually see any of their ships at the moment. Um, I don't have a good enough range on my sensors to actually detect what's going on. Where's their, their sort of capital world? Uh, their home planet. I'm just looking for it at the moment. It's there, right in the middle. Yeah, I don't have anything with enough sensor range to be able to get close enough to actually see what they've got, which is going to make life a little bit difficult. Science ship is now free. So there is some, there are some more uh, things to go and... Uh, we haven't even surveyed these systems either. Well, we'll survey them afterwards. We'll go and do the... Um, uh, the debris first, because that won't last forever. Uh, mineral storage is full, which is something that I'm quite aware of. So we definitely need to get some stuff built. So let's go into this spaceport and let's go ahead and build ourselves up maybe, I don't know, a lot of corvettes. Not really keeping account on them. But we'll uh, we'll spend some of our minerals. We'll get all of these guys together. I'll probably end up integrating the uh, Assembly of Arasian Nations at some point. They're quite small and a little bit pathetic. Um, that said, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could take some of these uh, Rixi star systems over here. I see their capital or their homeworld is now over here. So I could actually get them to seed those over to my vassal. So that is potential. Yep, there's, that faction is still wrecking buildings, which is a little bit annoying. But... Um, yeah, they don't seem to be getting an awful lot done. We'll just we'll just wait. We'll just sort of keep our eye on things. Let's have a look at our population. I doubt that any of our planets have um, these guys on. Obviously, we've got one of their worlds that we do directly control. Uh, these guys are not very happy. They've actually got some droids working on some of these as well, which is not a bad thing. Um... Noticed a marked change in the way the primitive... Yeah, primitive's not too bothered about that. So this planet's not doing particularly well at all because all of these people are really, really unhappy that we uh, basically took over all their stuff and they're all sort of migrating uh, away, which I guess is fine. Vassalization requests doesn't really affect me. We have finished a science, so we've now got shield capacitors. So we could get advanced shields, for even better shields. Um, energy storage capacity. Energy weapon attack speed is quite nice. And we do have a particles guy. Let's go ahead and work on that one. It'll take a while, but it'll be worth it. How long will it take? 37 months. Well, let's try and keep ahead on uh, military. 
Our science ship has arrived. You've got quite a few of these things to go and uh, research, so we'll queue those up for you. Complete. And now we've got lots of constructions being done. Now that we can get some upgrades here, we definitely would like to get more energy credits coming in. And the reason I say that is because even though we're making energy credits now, uh, we're soon going to get to a point where we're not doing quite so well. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade these um, food buildings also. And we'll go ahead and get a um, science lab here because it's got science on the tile. So, yeah, I mean, we could try and stop these people migrating away. They're never really going to be happy. Uh, I guess we could potentially knock down a single building and replace it with something that gives additional happiness. So we could go ahead and replace this with... Now then, what what is it? Habit that's habitability. Is it Frontier Clinic? That's habit habitability. Entertainment... Um, Hyper Entertainment Forum, plus 15 happiness. Yes, let's go and build one of those. It might help slightly. I doubt it, but we'll, we'll, we'll try. We'll give it a go. So currently, we are rebuilding. I don't think we lost anything in the war with the uh, combined Rixie planets. As in, I don't think they managed to take out any stations or anything that belonged to me obviously we've got some new ones that we can actually build for ourselves now uh, as even as an ocean world we don't really want that but yeah we've certainly acquired a lot more territory uh, i've got a sector missing resources i can't really do anything about that the sector should just get on and um sort of change their buildings if they're missing the resources they should just replace the buildings Again, we're already full on minerals and we're full on energy credits. It's been a while since that has happened. Debris um, we probably need to upgrade you guys again now because you probably want, some of you probably want to have the better shield. So let's get that done. But we definitely want to build up getting close to our um, naval force limit or as close to it as we can. Um, so let's go and get another um, 10 destroyers uh, in here as well. So destroyers are always good. Still analysing debris. The fleet has been upgraded. That's all going rather nicely. Got quite a lot of influence and we're making quite a lot of influence. I mean, it might be worth... Um... Research complete. Can we do anything here? We haven't even got a spaceport here. So let's go ahead and get like a laser defence spaceport. Um... Can we enact an edict... Uh, to, to make them happier. So less ethics diversions. 10% more happiness. 10% more happiness isn't a bad thing. Let's go and do propaganda broadcasts. So these things you don't pay for them monthly like you do with your empire-wide um, policies. These edicts are just a one-off payment that last for a certain length of time. So we're just trying to make these people happy if we can. It, pr it will probably never work. But I will give it a go. They're not all trying to migrate out now, which Debris is good. Obviously, even why are the um, oh, this is the robots are unemployed. Why why are robots unemployed? This population is employed. Consider putting it to work to increase efficiency. Why are you unemployed? Are these buildings just not working? Okay, we've got a new research for society. Um, unlocks colonization tomb world. I haven't even seen tomb worlds before. Atmospheric manipulation. Allows us to change the temperature of planets when terraforming them. Cheaper army upkeep. Remove dense jungle. I think we should probably go for that one because it seems really quick. Uh, we can get that done in six months. So that's definitely worth doing. Okay, now then, which, um, which Admiral do we have currently in charge of the fleet? The wrong one needs to be Christopher. Because he actually had... Now then, it's not actually put the right person in charge. I've had this issue before. Where it won't let you put the right um, Admiral in charge of a... Yeah, I don't want you to command. I want you to command. Let me do it. Nope, still not doing it. 
That's really annoying. How did I sort that out last time? I can't remember. Do we have any more debris for you to get? I think most of it's gone. Um, oh, no, there is some over here. So if you could uh, research that and um, research that for me. Now, can we just do it if we... Yeah, right-click to unassign. There we go. That's weird. Now it does have the right leader, I think. Yeah, that's fine. That should make it even cheaper. Uh, we do have the other fleet that was in production. Let's get you moved over to the home world. We'll get the entire fleet together. We still want to try and build up as close to our naval capacity as possible. And our naval capacity is actually reduced because uh, David is actually giving us minus 20% naval capacity. Although we do actually have the... Um... Oh, new stuff there. Secure the borders. What do we need to do for that one? Build defense platforms. Um, what edicts do we currently have going or what policies do we have going? Yeah, we do have the Grand Fleet actually active at the moment, so that's fine. So that's some more research done there. Inactive buildings. Um, I don't understand why you're inactive. Maybe it's not collected because we're at the cap. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. There must be a reason for that. Um, Research complete. And again, yeah, you're not close. So just the, some of the energy credits ones that aren't being collected. And these ones are minerals. It may be just because we're at the cap, so it's decided that we're not going to collect them. Hopefully the happiness will go up here. Um, did we ever build that? Um, that's the bio lab. Nope, they're still um, destroying buildings. This is on... Uh, on ricks though i don't think we control ricks uh so where did i actually build that building that's a hydroponics farm that's the bio lab that's a power plant did i not tell it to build one somewhere i was almost convinced that i did i thought it was on this one down here yeah, construction project. It is actually working on it. Okay, it just, just doesn't show it very well. Oh yeah, the orange line, I can see that now. Okay, that was confusing me slightly. Um, we could un uh, work on colonizing Arctic worlds, cheaper resettlement costs, tropical worlds. I guess we might as well get the other ones that allow us to um, colonize different world types, although we don't um, necessarily need to do that. Uh, let's again make sure we've got everybody over to the home world. That science ship has finished again. So I guess we... Apparently, no, there is still um, something for you to research. You just keep stopping for some random reason. Interesting. Uh, also, yeah, where is, actually, where is Rix? It's the only planet that I can see that even resembles Rix is... Rixara. I suppose Rix is there. Yeah, there's Rix. So you guys are sort of kicking up a stink, but I don't think I can do anything here. Well, apparently I can. I don't control this planet, though. That's minus one food. Uh, let's go for the propaganda broadcasts. And, um... Let's go for the... Give them the food as well. We'll try and get that to, to grow for them, hopefully. Um, get, us to get rid of some mineral production. Yeah, it won't let me build buildings, but I can enact the edicts there. That's a little bit strange. Just a mechanic that I am not used to. Uh, again, let's try and get all of the navy merged up. It just makes it so much easier to actually see what is going on. So we're up to 235. We still have a relatively small fleet. If we check out um, the Hullfast core here, we can see that they're, we're still equivalent. Although their fleet power is inferior compared to ours. That's nice to know. It may, may be an ideal time to go and attack those. Probably not in this video. We'll do it in the next one. Gith the Githian has finished whatever it was doing. So we've got some more planets now that we do need to survey or some more systems. Um, so start by surveying the system that you're in, and then survey that one for me if you would. And then survey that one, and there's a couple here as well. So we've actually got a reason to uh, keep that science ship around now. We've got some stuff to do to keep it busy, which is very, very nice. 
Um, powerful factions. Um, yeah, the uh, the humans aren't much happy about stuff either, are they? So integration campaign two. Is that well, it's got rid of some of their um, population. Um, let's just go ahead and bribe their leaders. Running out of influence now. We need uh, 300 to do the integration campaign. I suppose every time you do that, they get uh, fewer and fewer population. We could go ahead and spend some. and um, We don't have that uh, the option for that one. We can suppress their media or bribe their leaders. They're not getting a lot of support, though. I'm not particularly worried about the human faction. And besides, if they do sort of rise up, they've only got... Um, like a couple of worlds over here anyway, so they're not a major concern to me right now. Uh, but I think we are going to be at a point soon where we can go and uh, attack Hullfast Core. I definitely think we need to, to take some stuff from them. We'll definitely have to just take little nibbles because they do have a lot of worlds. We're not going to be able to take everything that we want. Um, they don't have any... They don't appear to have any allies, which is a good thing for us. And um, maybe I want to give... Yeah, it was these guys that I wanted. I wanted to give some of the Rixie planets over to my vassal. Uh, so what I may end up doing is just starting to annex the worlds that are closest to me and push north. I think that is going to be the plan. Uh, is that one of their ships there? That is one of their ships. That's a colony ship, though, which doesn't help me out all that much. Um, although we can see that they use wormholes. So it does actually give us um, some information there. Uh, so we know that they use wormholes. They've already got zero-point reactors. They've got some quite well-upgraded ships. Um, but it is saying that our fleet uh, power is superior to theirs. And I'm not even finished building it up yet, so I do intend to keep doing that. Uh, so we've got the 10 battleships, we have got 10 cruisers, we've got 26 destroyers, and we've got 66 corvettes. Maybe we do need to go and um, get ourselves a few more um, cruisers. So let's go ahead and... Um, get some cruisers into the mix so that will take a little while mean meanwhile we'll continue to sort of build up our resources we will build up some more influence try and get rid of these factions uh, but that is something for the next video so thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you are still enjoying stellaris i'll see you next time and until then goodbye for now